I'm Steve Morton with Terramike and today we're going to be discussing track tension. You will need a straight edge to perform this procedure and for today for demonstration purposes we'll be using this orange bar. The straight edge will be laid on top of the track from top roller to top roller. You'll measure the distance between the top of the lug and the bottom of the straight edge. On the RT6 and RT7 models the distance between the top of the lug and the straight edge is a half inch measured with the RT9, the RT14, and the RT14R, the distance is one quarter to one half inch. To adjust track tension, you have a cover right here inside of the frame. Remove the bolts, remove the cover. It gives you access to the grease fitting that's in the track tension. You can add grease or take away as needed. Track tension should be adjusted after 10 hours of initial use and checked weekly thereafter. If track tension is too tight, you can put unneeded stress onto the sprocket segments, the idler, as well as the track itself. If the track tension is too loose, it allows slop into the track. You can uh, lose the track off the machine. You can wear the undercarriage component, um, components prematurely. And that's all I've got to say about that.